right now, I'm not sure what to fix. There are these two, they have quite a big range of vegetables today. Okay, they've also got some grass. Because I picked this last night after once I put them to bed, so I got it for this morning. There's a few dandelions and cloves in here. But it is mainly just grass. Oh, I'll move my glove. I did sweep there for last night. I didn't sweep minis because it doesn't really need a sweep except from the ramp and stuff. Um, yeah, this one's just like really wanting a veg. So they've got quite a lot. Different variety of veg. They've got spinach, lettuce, uh, black kale, normal kale, carrot, courgette, cucumber, carrot, bell pepper, broccoli. Dogs are coming around this bit, so me and Ellie just out. Sorry for the wind. We're just showing all the animals. These are so cute, and also there's so many dogs here. Oh, these bunnies are well cute. Oh my god, listen to the dogs. Me and Ellie really want a rabbit, but my dad's not up to the idea. These are the ones I want. Oh, that one's adorable. Look at this little face. Chickens and a rooster. I think we've only got one pig. Oh, there's another one. There's one over here. There's one in there. This is where we got our pigs from. In that side, that one that was the mirror. These are the sick bay, so this is where most all the sick animals must go. And all the dogs from inside these kennels are in. There's also some more kennels. Go. Yeah. Oh. There are all the guinea pig and some rabbit cages.
and all the cat and they're all adorable because they're doing a retreat to sausage and we're not entering our dogs into that one. Well, there's one sleeping on that bed over there. So okay. That one's cute. <laughs> there's some inside. Oh, there's some inside. How oh, cute is this one? Is this one? This one, this one, this one looks fun. Um, The dogs. No. <laughs> oh, that one's adorable. Guys, they are the cutest bunnies I've ever seen. Also, there's some goats. Here's a goat. They've got a lot of goats. They've also got some, um, what are they called? What are they called? They also have some donkeys, but you can't really see them. Right, we're gonna go see if we can find the people. So we keep going inside these cases, there's pigeons everywhere. There's pigs in here, they're all, they're in there though. You can get up like you'll see the other camera, but it's fine. This will definitely have to have me. Look at all those horses.
back for a while now sorry it's like the auto's like a bit off i have to cover the uh, thingy because it's raining but yeah that's misty's plant pot she's not in there yet so i want to go see the pics trying to be quiet because both the dogs are upstairs resting you hear the auto? so there are the pigs um as you can tell on the back over there it's getting quite a bit messy but like I said, I can clean it out, but the problem is it's quite cold today and I've got no fresh hay. I think we're going to get some tomorrow, but I'm not too sure yet. They did get cleaned out, I think, two, maybe three days ago. I am trying to do it every three days, but like I said, I've got no hay. So as you can tell right now, the top is very clean. They haven't really had many hideouts in because when it's raining, they literally never go outside. They go outside, grab some food, and even then they don't eat all the food. So... Yeah, they're just always like that. And Minnie's in there. Minnie's got a bit more hair than those two have. Because she's got a hair rack. These two don't have a hair rack, sadly. Usually I just throw them some new hair in there every night. But can't do that. So that's really annoying. But they have still got like some fresh bits.
I'm going to show you what veg I am feeding the guinea pigs today. Um, basically, I went to Asda, I think it was yesterday, and got like £7 worth of veg. So, I give them some of that every day just to make sure it lasts long. Because usually I just buy a lettuce and some kale, and it only lasts me a couple of days. So, I did buy more of the leafy greens. So, I bought some spinach, some peppers, uh, that's just a half empty carrot, some curly kale, some romaine lettuce, the kiwis I already had. And then we've also got some carrots, some black kale. Well, I call it black kale because I can't really pronounce it, it's actual name. Uh, I also got courgette and cucumber. My mum grew this courgette. That one is not infested with caterpillars. And then my dad also grew some tomatoes, so I've been using them as well. And don't worry, I have not been using the mushrooms. Guinea pigs cannot have mushrooms. The annoying thing is though, is I only get one drawer in the fridge. And as soon as I buy all new veg, it doesn't fit. Like that's all that fits in there. So then I usually have to like fill up the rest of the fridge in my deck as well. I do prepare all the vegetables fresh. Also, how cute is this? I can't believe Rick's one. He won uh, the waggiest tail if anyone was wondering if I haven't said that already. And uh, this was the thing we're hoping, but they're going to do more. This is the first one. Me and Ellie are also going to try and find like loads more different dog shows and like rodent shows we can go to. And I bought this Keering. It's a little pig. It's absolutely adorable. Pigs are my favourite animals. It's got a little clip on Keering. It was homemade and it was about £2. Okay, this is the broccoli. This is the brand new broccoli that my mum brought from the allotment, but as you can tell, it's pretty infested, so that is gross. I'm really glad I spotted that before I fed it to all the guinea pigs. And then Rex also got these treats when he won. I, do, I think there was like 25 dogs in that competition and Rex came forth, which is really good, and they only gave up five awards. Then we also won this soap thing that actually stinks. So Eleanor and Rhino did the dog agility, tried it out, and then we got this for like training. We don't know where we're gonna go. Me and Ellie are gonna try and go, but we don't know where that devil let us, so hopefully he will do. And then I also won this hot water bottle, which is super cute. We were trying to get a teddy for the dogs, but I ended up getting a hot water bottle. Eleanor got a teddy, which actually is her dogs. So let's take the guinea pigs. The vegetable, it's like half an hour later than the usual feeding time, but it is pretty gloomy outside. By the way, whenever I feed the guinea pigs when it's like rain, I always try and keep the dogs inside, but it's not always possible. As like today, they haven't really been out much because, well they have been out, it's just they've been napping because they've been out like all day. We didn't get back till like 4 o'clock. Does anyone else have a problem with spiders inside that guinea pig cage? But they hate it. Also, I had a spider problem in the bedding. Okay, there were spiders in the bedding, like there's one there. And, but they were all in the actual bedding. And it wasn't good enough. I did actually get some spiders inside the cage, but I did leave them there for I think two days. And they built a nest that has been. The spiders have now gone, by the way. I built a nest, and that seems to keep away a few of the flies as they all caught, caught in it. Mini side, considering how you only used to clean it out once a week, has been quite getting quite bad because she poos in that area and poos in this area. But I'm glad she doesn't poo or we in a bed anymore. And the next sunny day that we get, I'm gonna bath Minnie because we still haven't bathed her since we got her. And when we first got her, she stunk. But I never felt it was the right time to bath her because she wasn't bonded or anything. She's kind of getting better now. Like she'll come out as soon as I open the cage to come and get some food. She sits on my knee and snuggles up to me whenever I get them out for bonding. But hopefully, when they all live together, they'll all be fully bonded and like bonded with me and stuff. Guys, our garden is flooding. Oh my god, this is this always happens to us. This is what this side looks like. My parents have just her shower and stuff. Oh, the washing is still outside. Like, I went outside, I could hear that. And I was like, oh god, open my window, proper slamming in like the gardens, full of proper showers. I'm kidding though, it's so bad. At least that, that bit hasn't got like a full on waterfall yet. Oh my god, I'm almost taking up all the drains to let the water. Oh my god, the drains look so full. See, last time they came, they inserted, the first thing that happened is they inserted this drain and then they added a bit more into this drain in the corner and it's still not doing anything. And they said they sold the solution. They also put a drain like heading all the way outside the wall. But yeah, it's not doing anything. So that's great, that's how they're gonna monitor it, so. Hmm. At least it's not flooding off that wall. So this is how my parents always unblock the drain. They get them mopping. Sure, the water out. <laughs> 